All right, traders, it's Tuesday. That means it's time for your final order cutoff video. These are all the books that are set final order cutoff this Sunday and Monday, April 25th and 26th, 2021. There's some great books on the list that you need to be on the lookout for. Venom's ending its run, and that's a real hot book. And there's a couple others, as well as some great books from Hive Comics. So stay tuned for that. So here you go, your final order cutoff books set this week. First, for our DC books, we've got Batman Black and White. This is on issue number six, closing out its six issue limited run. We've got three covers solicited for this book, including a super cool Mad Hatter variant by Yasmin Petrie. We've got Batman Catwoman number five in its 12 issue limited run. Next is Catwoman number 31. We've got two covers showing for this one. And for Flash, number 770, we've got two super cool Jay Garrett covers that are going to be available. On to Justice League, number 61. We're going to have two covers for that one. And then a new title, Legends of the Dark Knight. This is going to have four different covers. We've got an A and B cover, as well as a 1 in 25 Ricardo Federici cardstock variant of Mr. Freeze. And the one per store, 250 copy minimum order, Francisco Francavilla, cardstock variant. Then we have Looney Tunes, number 260, Sylvester and Tweety on the cover of that one. It's going to be one cover. Mad Magazine is going to be at issue number 20. Nightwing, continuing its run with issue number 80. We'll have two covers for that one. We've got another History of the DC Universe, number 4 of its 5-issue limited run. We're at issue number 10 of Strange Adventures in its 12-issue limited run with two covers. We've got Truth and Justice, number 4. And then finishing DC, we've got Wonder Girl, number 1. Our first Yara Flores ongoing series with two available covers. And now, this week over at Hive Comics... We have a couple of awesome releases set to drop this Saturday, April 24th at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. First, we have crossover number six. This is the Hive Comics exclusive with art by John Gallagher. Also, be on the lookout for the follow-up issues, issues 7 through 10, also by Gallagher, which will be connecting variants exclusively from Hive. And we also have Black Cotton number two, art by Neil Nielsen. There will be two covers. The dark cover is actually an exclusive metal variant and should be spectacular. You can get these books this Saturday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time at hive-comics.com. Next up is your must-have comics from Image with final order cutoff April 26, 2021. We've got Family Tree number 12. Goddamn Virgin Brides finishes off its five-issue run with number five and a single cover. Home is at issue number two of its five-issue limited run with two covers. Jules Verne Lighthouse is on issue number two as well, and that has three covers to choose from. We've got Moonshine number 25 with a single cover. And Nomen Omen finishes out its amazing 15-issue run with issue number 15, and two covers. Radiant Black is going to have three covers available for issue number four. We've got cover art for two of those. Rain Like Hammers finishes out its five issue run with one cover. Savage Dragon hits issue number 260. We've got the usual two covers on that title with the B cover being the throwback variant. Scumbag is on issue number eight with two covers. And of course Chip Zdarsky's Stillwater is on issue number seven, and it's going to have two covers. We have art for one of those right now. Stray Dogs is on issue number four with two covers. Ultra Mega hits issue number three, and that's going to have three covers. We've got cover art for two of those. And the full color Walking Dead Deluxe is on issue number 15, and that's going to have five covers. On to our independent comics, we've got from Dark Horse, Kajuk Karu, The Skinner, number two of a two-issue run. Critical Role, Tells of Exandria, starts its new four-issue run with issue number one. Far Cry, Rite of Passage, number one of three. Lady Baltimore, Witch Queens, issue number three of a five-issue run. 
Orphan and the Five Beasts is on issue number three of its four-issue run. Rangers of the Divide, issue number one of a new four-issue limited run. And ending out its four-issue run, Young Hellboy the Hidden Land is on issue number four with two covers. From IDW, we've got Godzilla Monsters and Protectors, issue number two. Star Wars Adventures, issue number five. TMNT Best of Splinter, number one. This one may be a one-shot. Transformers, number 30. Transformers Back to the Future, number four of its four-issue run. And Transformers Beast Wars, issue number four, with two covers on that one. Then from Dynamite, we've got Red Sonja, number 27. That's going to have five covers. Sacred Six, number nine, also with five covers. Sacred Six, number 10, is going to have five covers as well. And then Vengeance of Vampirella is on issue number 18, and there's going to be four covers available for that one. Now from Boom Studios, we've got Jim Henson's Storyteller Tricksters, issue number three of a four-issue run with two covers. Luna, number four of a five-issue run with two covers. Larson's Orcs is on issue number four of a six-issue limited run with two covers. Power Rangers number seven is going to have three covers. We have art for two of those. And We Only Find Them When They're Dead is on issue number six, and that's going to have two covers. From Aftershock Comics, we've got Bequest number three, Phantom on Scan number two, and Undone by Blood, The Other Side of Eden, issue number three. Now from Black Mass Comics, we've got God Killer Tomorrow's Ashes, issue number one. Space Riders Vortex of Darkness, issue number four. White, issue number two. And Alice in Leatherland, issue number two. This week from Oni Press, we've got Jonna and the Unpossible Monsters, issue number three, which is going to have two covers. And from Titan Comics, we've got Blade Runner Origins, issue number four. There's three different covers for that book. And number two in a new series, Minky Woodcock, Girl, Electrified Tesla. That's going to have three issues. On to Vault Comics, we've got Autumnal, issue number seven, with two covers. Dark Interlude, number four, with two covers. Dark Interlude, number five, with two covers. Hollow Heart, issue number four, with two covers. I Walk With Monsters, number six, with two covers. And Witch Blood, issue number three, which has a single cover. And our last company, we've got Xenoscope. They've extended Final Order Cutoff for Man, Goat, and Bunny Man, issue number two of three. That's going to have two covers. In our last book, we've got Wonderland Annual Reign of Madness, one shot, which has three covers. For our Marvel comics with Final Order Cutoff, April 26, 2021, we've got Amazing Spider-Man, number 66, with a single cover. Black Knight, Curse of the Ebony Blade is on issue number three of its five-issue run. This book will have two covers. Captain America, number 29, has two covers. B cover, which is a Pachio Reborn variant. Champions is on issue number seven with a single cover. Daredevil, number 30, has a single cover as well. A new title, we've got Fantastic Four Life Story, it's going to be a six-issue limited run, and they kicked that off with three covers. We've got Heroes Reborn, which is at issue number three of its seven-issue limited run, and it's got four covers, including this spectacular Peach Momoko Stormbreakers variant. We've got Heroes Reborn Magneto and Mutant Force, issue number one, and that's got three covers. A new Hulk title, Immortal Hulk Time of Monsters, Issue number one is going to have two covers. We've got Mighty Valkyries, issue number two of a five-issue limited run with two covers. Runaways, number 36, has a single cover. Shang-Chi recently dropped its trailer, and they, they're starting a new series with issue number one. There's going to be four covers. I really like the Cho cover with the Spider-Man background. The Hunt for Han Solo begins in Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 12 with three covers. We've got Trials of Ultraman number three in this five-issue limited run with a single cover. 
Of course, the big book to be on the lookout for. We've got Venom. This is issue number 35 and ends this Venom run. This is the 200th issue of a Venom title using the legacy numbering. There's going to be 13 solicited covers. We have artwork for three of them right now. We've got Way of X, issue number two, with two covers. And finally, we've got Wolverine, issue number 12, which has a single cover. And there you have it, traders. Those are your books that are set for final or cutoff week. Remember, it's Sunday, April 25th, and Monday, April 26th. Um, Sunday's for DC, Monday is for everything else. And don't forget to go to hive-comics.com this Saturday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time to make sure you get on, the, on those great exclusives. Until next time, traders. Hey, everyone. I'm TM from TM Nerdy. This is Violator from Series 1. I'd like to thank you guys for checking out the Rogue Trader. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and check out his website, theroguetrader.com. All right, I'm on up out of here. Stay nerdy, my friends.